Welcome to the Cape of Good Hope, one of the most visited attractions in the Western Cape. Situated approximately 50 minutes outside of downtown Cape Town, the Cape of Good Hope is the most southwestern point on the African continent. Join me as I show you the main highlights when you plan to visit this national park. Your first stop should be at the Biffelsfontein Visitor Center. The center has a wealth of information and showcases the plants currently found in the park and animals to look out for during your visit. This is the main parking lot area. Here you will have the opportunity to dine at the Two Oceans restaurant, explore the souvenir shops or do the various walks on offer from this point. This is the starting point of the walk up to the old Cape Point Lighthouse. It takes about 25 minutes each way. If you are unable to walk, there is a funicular you can take to the top at an additional cost. The walk is definitely recommended though as it offers spectacular views. Please leave all refreshments and food in your vehicle during these walks as there are Chakma baboons in the national park and they are attracted by food and will surprise you when you least expect. This is normally the first viewpoint stop which gives you a first glimpse of Cape of Good Hope down below and the beautiful Diaz Beach which we will be seeing soon close up. Don't miss this turn off to the cliff lookout point which is not to be missed. If you look closely down below, you will see the new lighthouse, built in 1914, standing at a height of 87 meters. It's the most powerful lighthouse on the South African coastline. Here we are at the top of Cape Point and site of the old lighthouse built in 1859 at a height of 238 meters. Due to heavy mist the lighthouse was very ineffective causing major issues for passing ships. Hence it was decided to build the new lighthouse much lower to alleviate this problem. As you look around you will see the breathtaking views of Diaz Beach and Cape of Good Up down below to your right hand side. On the other side you have the False Bay coastline. If you are lucky at certain times of the year, you might see a southern right or humpback whale passing through the area. If you have time, I would definitely recommend the Lighthouse Keeper Trail. This is a 1.7 mile, 1.5 hour moderate return walk with spectacular views of the False Bay coastline and is often overlooked by visitors. Up ahead, you'll see a historical bunker that was built and operational by 1942 and used by the South African military as an observation station for enemy ships passing by. These bunkers were top secret and only known to a select few. This is the end of the trail. 
Down below you will have a better view of the new lighthouse, which can be seen on a clear evening up to 63 kilometers out to sea. All the body of water you see in front of you is the Atlantic. A lot of people think this is the meeting point of the Indian and the Atlantic Ocean, which in fact is incorrect. The meeting point is in fact at Cape Agulhas, the most southern point in Africa, up the coast of South Africa. This is the starting point of the Cape of Good Hope Walk, situated in the main parking area. This is a leisurely 45 minute walk each way. Be on the lookout for ostriches in Ireland, our largest antelope in South Africa, on your walk. You will notice that there are many different flower species and plants that are very unique to this part of the world. One of these examples, if you look down next to the boardwalk, is called common buttonbush. It is endemic to this area. The Latin name is Basilia lanuginosa, with lanuginosa meaning wool in reference to the fluffy white flower heads. We've arrived at the staircase that leads down to Diaz Beach. There are very strong rip currents which make swimming very dangerous. I would recommend to enjoy the beautiful beach and the scenery but stay out of the water. The beach gets its name from the first Portuguese explorer, Bartholomew Diaz, who sailed around the most southern tip of Africa in 1488. Once you've enjoyed the beach, head back upstairs, turn left and continue your walk. Yes, this is still the same day, the same hike down to the Cape of Good Hope. The weather changes very quickly as you can see in this part of the world and since Diaz Beach the weather literally changed in a blink of an eye. Make sure to watch your steps as you walk down this last bit to the Cape of Good Hope. This terrain is a little bit more uneven and steep. Well done, you made it. Welcome to the Cape of Good Hope, the most southwestern point on the African continent. If you arrange for someone to pick you up, this will be the spot. If not, back up you go to the top. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe for more adventures. See you soon.